Now. Yeah. Okay. Now. <laughs> now to now. Now to now. We start the meeting with a pledge to the flag. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Tuesday, April 2nd, 9 a.m., we have a ribbon cutting for Studio Molina Salon and Spa at 20 Oswego Street. This is the one formerly known as Red Room Salon, new owner, new name. The next morning, Wednesday, April 3rd, 10 a.m., we have Coffee Talk at Pack B TV, 8220 Loop Road, Suite 100. Thursday, April 11th, 11.30 a.m., we have our monthly luncheon at San Miguel Mexican Bar and Grill, 2 Oswego Street. We all need to have people register and pay online no later than April 4th. Tuesday, April 16th, 5.30 p.m., the GBCC Member Showcase at Anheuser-Busch, 2885 Belgian Road. Tickets must be purchased no later than April 5th. There is a huge link in the middle of our website, easy to find. Sunday, April 21st at 1 p.m., Beeville Earth Day Cleanup, hosted by Paz to Recovery Mental Health Counseling and the GBCC. Meet in the parking lot behind Sammy Malone's and San Miguel. We're accepting applications for our $1,000 scholarship. Applications must be received by noon on Friday, April 19th. Links to the guideline and the application can be found on our website at www.baldwinsoldchamber.com or on our Facebook page. Thank you. Does anyone else wish to address the board? Seeing no one. We'll move on to <coughs> item three, special presentation from the library. Casey. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 Uh, my name is Casey Verhig. I'm the Children's Librarian at the Beeville Library. I'm here to request a fee to be waived for use of Mercer Parks Gazebo during the summer for two reading programs. Um, I have dates for 627, 711, 718, 725, 81, 88, 811, and I'm going to repeat some July ones again, so I apologize. Uh, 714, 721. 728 and 84. Uh, they're for two different reading programs. One is on a Sunday. It is uh, reading with one of our other employees that works at the library, uh, Anna about a Dubkowski. And sorry, <laughs> uh, she'll be reading for an hour to kids and doing an activity. Uh, it's very popular overall. We get about 10 to 15 kids roughly, here or take, give or take, depending on weather, things like that. The other program is a reading to a therapy dog program. That one also runs for about an hour, uh, set up time to bring the dog in. It's run by a uh, village resident who has just a therapy dog. They come in on Saturdays normally, they're willing to come in on Thursdays instead. It's just time for the kids to read to the dog in a judgment-free environment. So we're just requesting okay. yeah. the dates. So you have one program going on Sundays mm -hmm. and the other one's on Thursday? <laughs> Yes. Okay. And then I do have the times. I'm sorry, I sort of forgot those. Um, the Sunday program, I'm requesting from 1 to 3 uh, to give time for setup to bring some books from the library for the person with the therapy dog to come, or excuse me, <coughs> for the person doing the craft and the reading to come in, get themselves situated, and we'll bring our own like, chairs and anything else we need for that craft. All the supplies will be included. We'll make sure everything's all nice and clean afterwards. The other one, we're requesting. Excuse me for this one. Um, 3.30 to 5.30 on Thursdays. Uh, that's to give the person who works at a school district outside of Beeville time to travel, get their dog set up, such that. Are you requesting the pavilion or the bandstand? The gazebo. Yeah. The gazebo, okay. Yep. Sorry. We have reserved signs that can be yeah. put in place. Okay. And they have a, he has all his paperwork in, so we're all Okay. Good. Cool. Do you need electricity or no. anything like that? Okay. Should all be during daytime hours. Okay. I didn't know if it had. Yeah, no. Uh, for, the, to plug in. Yeah, for the story time, hopefully my voice or whoever's reading's okay. voice can carry. And most of the time for the dog one, uh, reading doesn't happen too much. Most of the time it's just petting. But <laughs> <laughs> hoping it's more for reading than petting this time. <laughs> so. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, what do we need? <laughs> Just a motion to waive the fees. Okay. Motion. motion. Second. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. No, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to trustees' comments. 
think I made Joe go first last time, so it's up to you. Okay. Just wanted to express my condolences to Jim Orlando uh, family. Uh, he was a great member of our community here. I'm sure some of you might touch on uh, the, all that he's done with some of the things that he worked on. Uh, anytime there's anything that needed to be done in the community, though, Jim was kind of stepping up there. I served with him on the uh, architectural review board, and uh, he'll be missed. And I'll stick to the rest of the agenda. I will echo your sentiments on Mr. Orlando. He'll be missed. I had an opportunity to work with him through um, private, professional uh, side of his construction interests. And in 20 years, he's been a real good guy to work with. Um, I do have comments on the election, but I'm going to reserve them for the next meeting. OK. Um, I, was, I had a note about Jim. Um, I hope that someone may carry on his classic cars in the park in the uh, Baldwin Canal Square because I know that was always a nice event. Um, and also condolences to the family of Bill Strife, who we also lost recently. He was a village employee for a while. He, he was in charge of watering our beautiful flowers that the Garden Club always um, provided. But. Um, condolences to his family as well. Um, and in terms of the election, I just want to thank everyone who came out to vote, because obviously, you know, we did have a bigger turnout than we have in the past. I appreciated everyone who supported me and look forward to moving forward, uh, getting on with the business of keeping Bowdensville running. <coughs> Other than that, I will stick to the agenda. <laughs> on to Ruth. Well, kind of echoing from these guys as well. And uh, Bill Strife was my neighbor, one of my neighbors, and he would be dearly missed. And, um, and Jim Orlando was great, like with the tree lighting and everything too, because he always donated the uh, beverages and donuts for free to everybody that was there. So, but other than that, the agenda is good. Yeah, I just wanna, I, I wanna congratulate the, uh, well, Congratulate two of the winners, I guess. But uh, we, um, I'd like to echo the sentiment of the other board members. Uh, Jim Orlando, he did a lot for the community, and uh, I actually I mowed his yard when I was 16, 17 years old. I think he still owes me money. Was um, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. In the will. it was yeah, you know, it, it, it was yeah. You know, I got free meals at like the diner, I guess. But. And uh, so anyway, and then Bill Strife. Uh, one of the memories I have from him is anytime we would uh, we did the uh, Star Spangled Girls Across tournament, and we would be cooking. You know, my father and my brother would be cooking, and. Uh, one of the great moments of it is actually just having Bill just hang out and just talk and just, you know, talk about stories, just run jokes and everything like that. He's He was a great guy as well. So my condolences to both families. And I'll say that's the good agenda. I'd just like to say uh, condolences to Bill and Jim's family. I didn't know them personally, but I enjoyed uh, the events that they, they put together. And uh, I'd also like to thank everybody for, for voting. And I'll stick to the agenda. And you like the gravy fries, I'm sure. I love the gravy fries. <laughs> oh. Since everybody else has mentioned Jim, I would really, you know, that was one thing I was going to bring up. But if you didn't know him, he was a big man who was larger than life. Mm -hmm. um, and when we look at where Baldensville is today, and where it was a decade ago, Jim took where is now Sandy Malone's, which was an old car repair place, and built that into, what was it called? The Blue Water Grill was downstairs. Yeah, I don't know what grill. was upstairs. Yeah. Um, was actually maybe the first developer investor in bringing Ballsville's commercial area back to life. Um, he will be missed in our community. Beyond that, I think I'll stick to the agenda. Move on to our attorney. I'll stick with you, Jim. Okay. Village clerk. Just want to remind everyone that taxes are due without penalty by um, April 1st, so you still have another, you know, little week and week and a day to get those in. So I just wanted to remind everybody about that. So out of 800 and so odd people that came in here, how many keep paid your taxes? Like maybe 10. <laughs> <laughs> 10 more than last time. Yeah. Okay. 
I know one of them. But he just told me this afternoon that he did. Jackson's Anna wants to Well, people didn't see what his wife wrote about Mr. Orlando. She wrote a very nice testimonial. Yeah, we, we met we met Jim at a fundraiser. I think it was Taste of Baldwin, and he was bidding against us for a print, which was you know equivalent of that painting that's up there, but it was a print of Baldwinsville. And I really, really, really wanted it, and so did he. And I didn't know who he was. And Johnny McFally then came over to me and said, you should stop bidding because you're not going to outbid him. <laughs> and, uh, and I did not outbid him. Um, but I think Taste of, Taste of Bonesville made a lot of money on that <laughs> that they wouldn't have made because we jacked it way up. But, um, and then like a year later, he came to our house with a print of a different thing. There was an old election ballot that he found rolled up in the wall of the Gazette and Farmer's Journal building, I think, when he did something with that or whatever. And it was framed beautifully, and he's like, here, this is payback for the taste of bones. It was really cool. So good guy, good friend. Um, Bill Strife, too. He used to ride down the street on Virginia Street, help my dad, who was not all there all the time. So all good. And um, I want to congratulate uh, the, the victors in the election, Mike my, my Donna. And uh, I want to uh, say that I will miss Joe. It's just kind of getting to know you. Yeah. And um, sorry to see you go. And uh, you know, kudos to the other people who ran. I don't really know you, but um, good for you for getting involved. And um, and all the rest is uh, agenda. I do need to say as well that the Orlandos, Jim and Laura, have been very generous to the Senior Center and um, certainly a bigger than life personality whose positivity spread wherever you went. So I will definitely miss seeing him around. Um, other things happening, I just want to remind folks that our all our information is on all three municipal websites, so please look there for what's coming up on the village of both towns. And I want to let the seniors know that the HEAP program has been extended, so if you, you still have time to do the Home Energy Assistance Program for this year, they extended the deadline to April 12th. Come and see Nancy before the 12th um, if you want to take advantage of it, but, that, but that's going to help some folks out that thought they missed a deadline. And that's it, unless anybody has any questions. It's not moving on to our UPW. Just a, a couple quick things about Bill and, and uh, Jim. Bill came to us at the uh, highway a few years back, and he had just lost his wife. And, um, he was pretty upset, looking for something to do, wanted, wanted to work doing something, and he started watering the flowers and taking that little buggy around town and my God, he became bigger than life. No matter where you were, they knew him. People knew him. They would stop and talk to him, and you would go to Sal's, you'd go to the diner, you'd go anywhere, and they all talked about the water guy, the guy water, and he was just happy talking to everybody. The guys at work, well, he'd come in in the morning, he'd get the guys all worked up laughing, and just a happy guy. And, um, and, and he was, a, we call him the mayor of the street down there, but, but fantastic guy. Sorry, sorry, he had a tough last year and, and uh, um, he'll be missed. Jim Orlando, um, he was a good friend of mine. He, uh, I met him when he was <coughs> redoing, when I, I don't know if a lot of people know, he really had a hand in redoing the whole downtown. You know, back when none of the buildings were open, or not, not none of them, but a lot of them weren't. He got in there and he got doing a lot of foundation work and a lot of things that were just kind of crazy. And and it was back in a time where just nobody was fixing anything up. And he had he had uh, some of the guys that were working for him in there and the stuff that he did was just phenomenal. And he, he was big on promoting balls and he came to me and he says, we want to build a float. You know, we want to build a St. Patrick's Day party in the city. I says, okay. And a bunch of people started talking about this float. Well, he wanted to put it on a tractor trailer. Well, sure enough, he had a, a replica of the, of the island built, and we still have that. <laughs> and we got gypsum and a couple other people to bring to bring a tractor trailer in. We decorated the tractor trailer. We went to the St. Paddy's Day party down for probably four or five years. Just had a ball. He was the first one there and the first one to help donate. We had bands on at some time, and any event, Jim was there. He was there, and he, and he wanted to donate money. 
um, to help with it. Uh, I had talked to him a little bit ago, and I, I knew he was having some struggles. And uh, uh, it was quite a surprise to everybody, but uh, great guy, and, uh, and, and, and he will be missed. And good friend. And uh, um, I was at the call an hour earlier, and just a lot of different people from the village that we knew from just different things all up there and it was it was a nice showing and and uh it was it, it was sad but um other than that the big doings that are going on here with the with the dpw is the camp street water department <clears throat> um we finally got our, our water Electric project taken care of. Everything is brand new from the pole all the way into the building. We had some struggles this, this week with just different people getting them there. Got them there, got them up and running. It's just fantastic. We get a new floor in there. The place is just, it's just, it had electric in there from 50 years ago. And uh, it's all been upgraded and running great. Um, I never thought I'd see in the time I was here. And we get some grant money, and the village board's always been behind the water department. And we've got a little more work to do, and it's just it looks fantastic over there. Um, we've been getting into the parks a little bit with a good weather, not this last week, <laughs> but with a good weather. They've been cleaning some of the parks up. Um, they got some of the flower beds done here, and we're starting to get some of the summer stuff done, what little bit we can. And uh, um, other than that, let's just questions. That's it. Trash pickup starts the April first. first week of April. The first week of April, April the yard waste. The, sorry, yeah, the, the brush right. starts. And, yard waste. Right, and we've been having calls on that since November. <laughs> <laughs> and every time the sun comes out, everybody. My yeah. neighbor's ready. Yeah, every other person's got something. They yeah, and every time them under their trees until they can put them by the street. Yeah, and, find it. and they they put all the brush out in the street and they call me, tell them it's in the street, and I say, don't worry, the snow plow push it back, and it did. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but. April, uh, the first will be out there. All right. It's only a week and a half away. That's okay with us. It was a good storm. Moving on to our police department. Chief. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, good evening. Uh, I know I'm going to sound uh, like I repeat myself because I do. Um, but uh, I, I asked the officers on duty, I said, I'm coming to the village board meeting. What would you like me to mention publicly? And you can probably guess what it is. But it was, please tell people to take their key fobs out of their cars and lock their doors uh, with the nice weather coming. Uh, clearly, uh, some of the nice weather that we have had in areas and pockets of the county, uh, there's been some issues with vehicles that have been taken uh, and people leaving their keys out there or leaving their vehicles unlocked. And unfortunately, in this day and age, that's just simply not something that you can do and expect uh, uh, it to be there in the morning, no matter where you live or how safe of a community it traditionally might be. Uh, there's people that are actively traveling and looking for uh, places to to go and people to try and victimize. And we want to certainly minimize uh, any of our residents that, that might befall that happening to them. And then one other thing I wanted to mention is one of our officers, uh, Officer McCaleb, uh, recently completed some drug recognition expert training, uh, very arduous training, uh, several weeks in length, and uh, you have to learn anatomy and physiology and all different types of things because uh, that training uh, allows him, uh, through now some expertise that he has, to uh, evaluate an individual that uh, would appear to someone uh, to be under the influence of uh, a substance other than alcohol. Um, so if we've got someone that uh, we give a, a roadside device to and they come up that they haven't consumed alcohol, but it's clear that they're intoxicated and under the influence of something, uh, he's now one of the people trained in the county, which is a limited number of people that can uh, provide uh, that, that evaluation and that uh, report uh, for the successful prosecution of that individual. Uh, fortunately, uh, uh, almost all of that was paid for through uh, 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 reimbursement through uh, State Governor's Traffic Safety Committee. I brought that check over to our, our treasurer this week. He gladly accepted it. It was about $4,600 worth of, for salary and things. And we're going to get uh, reimbursement on his meals as well. So uh, I applaud him and his 
Olympics efforts. It's uh, it was one of those trainings where you would, you know, go from 7:30 to 4 or 5, and then break for dinner, and then work together in groups till 10 or 11 at night and study, and then get up the next day and do it the same thing because it was very, very involved. So, other than that, unless there's questions or comments from the board, that's all I have, Mayor. One more thing. Parking ban. Yeah, I was just going to ask. Date check on the. Uh, I think that runs <laughs> April first or April fifteenth. I, I have to check the code. It starts the fifteenth of November, right? Yeah, it starts November fifteenth. Then it ends the fifteenth. Yeah, then it ends the fifteenth. Yeah. Any other questions for the team? No. <laughs> Thank you. I bring out all these papers to remind me to say things, and then I don't look at them. Um, this is the last time I'm going to mention Earth Day cleanup with Oprah. It's Friday, April 12th, Saturday, April 13th, and you have to sign up with them by April 3rd. That's why I'm not going to mention it again. Um, get a hold of Oprah. They will provide you with the bags the stickers so that no one has to pay to dispose of the trash. Um, and then and you'll sign up for an area where you are going to clean up. I don't know if they get a hold of you, Chuck, or do They let us know where the, uh, yeah. Okay. And then typically, what our DPW does is what park a couple of vehicles strategically throughout the village. Sometimes we do that, and then other times they'll just tell where we'll go get it next day, pick it up. I know you end up doing a combination of the things. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, thank you. Get back to the agenda. <laughs> Item seven, pending business. Motion to authorize the best value competitive bidding and procurement pursuant to General Municipal Law 103. Motion. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. You're all set, Chuck. Thank you. <laughs> New business, item A, motion to set a public hearing for Thursday, April 4th, 2024, at 7.35 p.m. to review the comprehensive plan of the five-year community development plan. Moved. Second. Discussion? Motion? Any, anybody in favor? Aye. 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 Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Opposed? <laughs> Carried. Um, that's what, did we discuss that? No, we discussed, we discussed it in work, it session. work session. Yeah. Community development every year offers us the opportunity to apply for some funds for specific projects in specific parts of our community. Not all parts of the community qualify. And part of the application process is we have to have a five-year plan that shows what our goals are over five years. And one of the items we will apply for will be on that plan. And then the people selecting it will pick one of the five. The next year, the plan may be entirely different. It isn't like a commitment that that has to be there forever. Um, but having a five-year plan is required. So once we have the public hearing, we'll send in an application. Item B, motion for the mayor, authorization for the mayor to sign the Pyrotechnical Fireworks Inc. contract for Seneca River Days that includes a provision to provide insurance coverage. If not provided within 14 days after execution of the contract, the village has the right to void the agreement. Make a motion. Second. I'll second. Yeah. Discussion? Yes. Who's sponsoring the fireworks this year, do we know? Yes. We could answer that question. <laughs> this is for Seneca River Days. Um, Rotary will be paying for them. Um, you, you mean end of it? Who's I, I was just wondering if there was another layer of it, yeah. I don't know. remember Shelly's business. Is Shelly Hoffman? Oh, that's oh, okay. Yeah. 315 Realty, probably. 315 Realty. I don't know. It could be the other one. <laughs> I don't know. That's, I don't that's awesome. <clears throat> and the insurance thing is a, a cooperative with the village. Our insurance carrier covers it. Rotary pays the village for that. Because Rotary International, who covers liability, will no longer cover fireworks. So you have to go chasing around somewhere else. And, and this allows 
the event to go off at a much more reasonable rate. And did we vote? No. no we're we're discussed. discussed. Just any more discussion? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. So now I can take that thing over to Scott Northrup by then. Okay, item C, motion to approve the request for a waiver of the 30-day notice requirement for a new on-premise alcoholic beverage license for the restaurant Miss Nora, LLC, formerly Two Twisted Sisters, Inc., located at 25 Syracuse Street. Moved. Second. Discussion? Yeah. <laughs> Nate looks like he wants to discuss it. I think we approved this once and then it changed and then yeah. we're approving the change. Okay, that's all. That's all Just because the ownership changes so they have to yes. apply for their license. So. Yeah. I we haven't had any, no. any incidents over Zero. there in the past that okay. would not. raise concern. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's all I need to know. Item D, motion to approve the modifications of the 2022-2023 budget for final reconciliation as outlined in the attached budget <laughs> modifications 2024-03-21 for 2022-2023. Oh, you want somebody else to do that? Or no? we'll, we'll, we'll do the budget modifications. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Yeah, we'll do that. Do have, did we get a second? Make the yeah. names of them sure. <laughs> no, is there any discussion on this? Does everybody understand what Mark was doing? Mark was supposed to explain to the general population. That'd be great. And to the board. That, that was the previous year. If you remember, that was my first year here. So going back through that stuff, um, in hindsight, now that I've completed my second year here, there was a lot of stuff that needed to be um, just cleaned up. If you look at the this year, the, the similar report, it's much, much shorter. And that is evidence of you know, a much better process that's in place now and, um, you know, and things that get taken care of during the year as opposed to the old model, um, you know, I'll call it pre-me, was um, I think you modified the budget once a year and that um, is a no-no, but, um, but I was like not up to total speed on the, the first year and now the second year. That's why you get so many of those nice long name documents during the year. And I really will make them shorter. I'm, I'm, that In my world, that works really good because I'm like, oh, I know exactly what that is um, when I look at it. So, so that's it. Thank you. Paul and Dave. Hi. Hi. Approved. And I'm going to ask if anybody's opposed. Moving on to E, motion to approve the modifications of the 2023 2024 budget as outlined in the attachment budget modifications 2024 03 21 4 23 24 PDF. Motion. Second. Any discussion? Jason Eagles, I can't get that one. Can I just tell you something there's good news about that one? I said it's really, really short report. I think there was a few final invoices that are coming through tonight for that year, and that's going to close like next month, early next month, probably. Maybe I can make the fourth, but and that's um, that is uh, uh, not something that we've really had in the past, so it's um. It's, it's all good. And then, you know, we'll talk about the water fund and the sewer fund at the next meeting. But um, you'll, have, you'll have something coming about adjusting the water fund and the sewer fund, too, because we've made some really good strides there also. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Is there anything anyone else on the board wants to bring forward at this point? <laughs> If not, we have a motion to pay bills as audited. Motion. Second. 
And all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Aye. 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 Could I have a motion to turn the meeting at? What she said. Make a motion. Exactly. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? I'll give you the last thing. Thank you for coming out. It's such a beautiful evening. Thank you.